The FAA's System Safety Management Transformation, or SSMT, program addresses critical and emergent safety issues to reduce civil aviation-related fatalities and serious injuries. The program uses safety risk assessment models to help us analyze how accidents and incidents might occur and to prevent them from happening in the future. Four tools make up SSMT. They work together to identify and analyze candidate safety events, or things that introduce risk in the airspace. The analysis from these tools enables engineers, managers, and policymakers to make risk-informed decisions about the priority, timing, safety benefits, and impacts of operational changes to the National Airspace System, or NAS. Together, the four SSMT tools cover all phases of flight, taxiing, takeoff, in-flight, and landing. Today's presentation highlights SSMT's Airport Surface Anomaly Investigation Capability, or ASAIC, tool. ASAIC allows accident investigators, runway and airspace designers, and air traffic controllers to monitor and review safety-related events up to 60 nautical miles outside of airports that have Airport Surface Detection Equipment, Model X, or ASDX, and Airport Surface Surveillance Capability, or ASSC, data sensors. Data sources also include satellite and ground-based ADS-B sensors. ASAIC shows movement of aircraft, represented by scaled 3D models, and vehicles on or near the airport surface using a detailed, accurate map of the airport. This display shows runways, taxiways, and other airport features such as terminals and green areas. It can replay aircraft movements showing altitude, velocity, and acceleration, and can measure separation with another aircraft or distance to something on the airport. Here's some examples of how ASAIC is used. This shows a runway incursion at Chicago in 2015 with less than 14 feet of separation. Here you see a departing flight at Newark in 2014 that was forced to stay low to avoid an arriving aircraft on a crossing runway. The arriving plane had to do a go around with only 200 feet vertical separation between the aircraft. This taxiing Airbus 380's wingtip passes just four feet above a Boeing 737 windshield at JFK in 2014. And finally, this replay shows an event in 2017 where Air Canada Flight 759 overflew taxiway Charlie at San Francisco International Airport, which was occupied by four aircraft at the time, narrowly avoiding what could have been the worst aviation disaster in history. NTSB investigators used security video to determine exactly how close the Air Canada flight came to the aircraft on the ground. When the preliminary NTSB incident report was released, the ASAIC team used the same security video stills to see how well the ASAIC replay represented reality. As you can see, ASAIC was able to provide a remarkably accurate representation of the incident. SSMT plays an important role in the FAA's global leadership in aviation safety. Since 2017, we've worked with the European Organization for the Safety of Air Navigation, known as Eurocontrol, to jointly develop the web-based integrated safety risk assessment platform called IRIS. Beginning in 2021, SSMT and Eurocontrol will begin sharing all of our tools with each other. The main takeaway about SSMT is that it helps the FAA improve aviation safety, both here in the U.S. and abroad. The SSMT program helps the FAA achieve its mission as the global leader in aviation safety, and the tools can be applied throughout the NAS or be scaled to individual operations or locations. These tools also provide an opportunity to streamline safety risk management and safety assurance processes as the FAA transitions to a performance-based strategy approach.